about competing every rep, mm -hmm. trying to get guys to you know, do that. Have you seen that level of consistency? I think there's been good competition, but then actually when you go against the offense, there's been, been a high compete factor on every snap. And that's what these guys got to realize is, I want to play, right? That's what I've got to prove, all right? I can't just assume that something's going to happen. And that's really what every play in a football game is, right? You're competing in a one-on-one -on -one situation, whether it's defending your gap, working a pass rush on an old lineman, and that's how I try to break it down is every play, all right, is a, is, is, is a play of, of competition, all right? You're either doing your job or you're getting blocked. And, and if we can boil it down to that and guys just hate not winning, all right, I didn't win this rep, I got blocked, or I lost my gap, whatever it is, then you come back to the next play and, and, and just keep on fighting. And so that's the mentality that we're trying to establish. And it carries over into the, the position battles. But at the end of the day, too, these guys are fighting to help each other, too, because we know, you know, we got to have a lot of guys ready to play. So I, I've seen it so far. But again, it's only day four, and it's a long camp, long season. So we just got to keep it going. Like you said, only day four, but a lot of new faces, especially on the inside. Mm -hmm. Anybody early on kind of catch your eye? Or, I mean, how do you feel about the progress? I, I, I like what Demarcus Elliott's done and, and come in. You know, we lost, you know, significant numbers there at the nose position. I think Juan came in and, you know, his weight's down from where it's been in the past, and he knows he's got to be ready to play, you know, more snaps. But I think getting getting D-Mac here, so he goes by D-Mac, uh, he's come in and done a good job. And then, you know, I think CO's come in and, 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 and learning the system. And, you know, so I, I, I feel better about that position than I did maybe back in December when it was who's going to be there, you know. And then I think there's excellent competition. We know what Jerome Johnson can do, all right? Now you've got, in my opinion, you've got four guys. You know, you've got John King, you've got Shamar Jones, you've got Gavin McCabe, and I think C.J. Person is a 285, 90-pound guy, you know. So I, I'm, I'm excited to see how that sorts itself out here as we move through camp in the early part of the season. What about d Mac? Really stands out to you? You know, he uh, – He's not always pretty in what he does. He's not a not a great athlete, but is a a high, high, high effort guy. And he's just relentless in how he plays. He just keeps on coming, and I love it. I think it, you know, it can it can rub off on everybody. You know, we all sit in there as a position group, you know, in, in meetings and whatnot, and watch the video. And and I just I just love how he gets after it, you know. And he's a guy that's, you know, going to continue to become more flexible and and change his body and maybe become more fluid uh, as he gets older. So. Just, just love his, his relentless nature and what he brings to the mix. Any concerns so far through four days? Or things that you well, there's, there's always through? concerns. You know, just from a D line standpoint, as, as we, you know, we have a mix of some guys that have played. But we, if you look at the ten guys that played 20 snaps or more last year, six or seven of them are gone. So, and I'm a guy that plays a lot of people. So, you know, yeah, I'm glad that we have a Gavin Ever and an Allen Stallings and even a James Head that played. You know, about 25 snaps a game and a Jerome Johnson. Who are those next four to six guys that are going to give us snaps? Because I know this, Jerome Johnson's a better player if he's playing 45 snaps versus 60 or 65 snaps. It's just, that's just the laws of nature, the laws of science, you know what I mean? So we've got to be able to keep him fresh with a John King, a Shamar Jones, a Gavin McCabe, whoever it is, maybe a CJ Person. So he's playing his best football in a game late in the third and the fourth quarter. You talked about getting Jerome out of his, uh, you know, more vocal uh, mm -hmm. during the offseason. What was that process like, and are you seeing that in camp? In terms of I don't. Th I think guys that, that generally don't like to open their mouth or, or kind of sit back and and are not necessarily leaders, but more followers. I think he realizes, hey, we lost a lot of guys, and to help my cause, so I don't have to play 70, 80 snaps. I've got to coach these young guys up, and so I've seen it. That's not necessarily amongst the whole group, but I see him taking a guy or two on the side and, and coaching them up. And that's that's always the first step if, if you're not a natural leader. So I see it, it's coming. And everybody's going to do it in their own way too, you know. So we've got a nice mix of some guys that will open their mouth and other guys that will, you know, take a guy to the side. But we're getting it in all kind of forms and fashions right now. You said you know what Drone can do. What does he do well? Well, I think he's just very, very explosive. You know, I think he's a very good run defender. Now, sometimes he gets antsy. He'll jump out of his gap to go make a play at times uh, where he's, you know, sometimes got to got to rein himself in a little bit. I think uh, uh, just just really, really good run defender. I think the thing that he realizes he's got to grow as a pass rush guy, and he's got the tools to do it. He's just not really had the confidence in it. So that's one area of focus that, that he's had here in the offseason, and uh, I'm seeing it. 
you know, I'm seeing some better things out of them in pass rush situations right now. So, so far, so good. What makes a good pass rush? Exactly. I think people think about ends a lot, but what makes you good rushing? The well, it depends what position you're talking. You know, those noses are going to typically see more double teams. So they're guys that really, quote unquote, have to push the pocket. They're not necessarily going to get a one on one. You know, the three technique is a guy that you're going to give a two way go. You know, so guys that, you know, can get vertical, make those guards move their feet, and then have the, the ability and the athleticism to, you know, have a good counter move off of it. Um, take that a step further. People want to take away a, a good three technique, you know? Um, so they'll start sliding the center that way. Well, now your nose has to be able to win that one-on-one -on -one matchup. So it's a, you know, it's sometimes it's a, uh, it depends on the team that you're playing, but two different positions, push the pocket with the nose, and, and your most athletic inside guy is definitely that three technique that you're giving a two-way go to. Coach Allen was talking about uh, James Head and Gavin Everett. Mm -hmm. Everett being the guys who are really vocal. Yep. How much have they grown in that? A lot, and I think it's come a little bit more natural, I think, for Gavin since he's an older guy. You know, he, he realized he couldn't look around and, and maybe lean on some other guys. I mean, the guys that have been leaders, you know, were gone. And so I, I force-fed him. He never batted an eye, and he's doing a good job. It's been a little bit more work in progress with James because he still, you know, considers himself a young guy. And I just say, hey, look, man, you're, you know, you played 25 plus snaps a game last last year. You're not a freshman anymore, and we need you to do this. So he's he's come out of his shell a little bit, and and like I say, not quite as vocal as Gavin, but night and day versus where he was a year ago. Does that speak to his potential? Absolutely, James had that absolutely, that. absolutely. And James is kind of one of those, you know, he's not a real loud, boisterous. You know, some guys get themselves going by, you know, how they talk and what they do, and. And James is, you know, James is driven. Uh, he's a very, very driven individual, but it's just kind of a quiet inner strength that he brings to the field. So it's just not natural for him. Now, he's going to get excited. It's one thing you go back and watch him on his high school video. I mean, he was a guy that, you know, when it came time to make plays and, and when he did make them, I mean, he's a guy that gets excited. And, and that's something you need on defense, regardless whether you're front guy, linebacker, secondary. You guys, you got to have fun playing. You know, so when guys make plays, there's got to be an enthusiasm, uh, a general fun of playing the game, and, and, and that's what I'm seeing out of a lot of our guys.